Wes, it's the first of three straight games on the road for the Packers. Against the Commanders on Sunday in the nation's capital, it's time for final thoughts. All right, Weston, what's at stake? Well, Mike, the Green Bay Packers back-to-back -back losses, and now they're heading out on the road. And as you said, beginning this three-game road stand, you're going up against a Washington football team that has had a lot of issues here this season. The Packers need to make sure that they can turn this thing around, right the ship, if you will, a good opportunity to do so against the Commanders. And a trademark of Matt LaFleur's team since he's taken over as head coach of the Packers is resiliency. This is the opportunity to show it. The Packers are going to need it, not only this week, but perhaps again later in the season. So you might as well show it now. Wes, who's heating up? Presented by Aurora Heated Apparel. Mike, Sunday is National Tight Ends Day. And there is no better guy to have as a player that's heating up than Robert Tunyon. Ten catches last week, Mike. The first Packers tight end in franchise history to have ten receptions in a game. Randall Cobb right now out with the ankle injury. The Packers need a guy to step up and go to situations. He's had some big performances before on National Tight Ends Day. Could be another one coming on Sunday. All right, well, while you're out selling t-shirts, I'm going to go catch an old movie, and it's called Mr. Smith Goes to Washington. I couldn't pass it up, I'm sorry. Preston Smith going back to FedEx Field, his first trip back to his old stomping ground since coming to the Packers as a free agent in 2019. Look for number 91, the edge rusher, back in the friendly confines. Wes, I say very simply, the Packers win this game if their offensive line has the bounce back performance that they're counting on. Last week was a rough day for the Packers up front. There may be some changes in terms of personnel, alignment, and all that. Whatever the Packers decide, they need that offensive line to play the way they've been counting on it to play over the years. It has to start on Sunday. You're right, Mike. And for me, I think the Packers win this game if they contain Taylor Heineke. Now, they actually had a good deal of success last year against Heineke. Now back in as the quarterback with Carson Wentz's finger injury. But the one issue was, even though they did sack him four times, he scrambled out for 95 yards. He was able to throw for 268. Made a little bit closer than Green Bay would have liked. This is a great opportunity for that defensive front to get after him, Rashawn Gary, Preston Smith, Kenny Clark. I look for this to be a game where you rush him and you rush him smart and you get this victory. All right, and with that, we'll sign off on this edition of Final Thoughts. Be sure to follow all of our coverage of Sunday's game from Washington on Packers.com and on all of your social media channels. Thanks for watching, everybody. Enjoy the ball game.